Can we hurry this up? Make sure they take your time. What's your name? Hannah Morgenthau. You have SEPA, Hannah Morgenthau. Oh, I don't. We have to do x-rays to make sure you don't have internal injuries, blood tests to make sure no infections, EEG for neurological anomalies, and biopsy a spinal nerve. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Congenital insensitivity to pain is one of the rarest conditions on the planet. There's only been about 60 documented cases? Yeah, and I have seven reasons to think that she's one of them. She says she's not. And that's reason number one. She knew what it was without us telling her. Two, she's still wet from the snow. She's not shivering. That's odd. Unless she can't sweat or feel hot and cold. The ambulance was warm. I want to see my mother. Three, scarring around the lips and tongue. When she was a baby, she chewed on herself without feeling it. I fell through a window when I was a kid. Four, when you cleaned the wound, she flexed into the cleaner instead of away from it. It's hard to fake pain when you've never felt it. it takes an imaginative leap, Ms. Morgenthal. She wants to see her mom. She admits having SIPA. She knows we're not letting her go anywhere without a battery of tests. You said you had seven reasons. I pulled the number out of the air. But five isn't enough. Five lame reasons aren't. I'm taking her to see her mom. She's... I could hit her again. Six isn't enough. Do the tests. I'm sick. No, your EEG was normal. X-ray showed no breaks. Blood test showed no infections. Urine indicated no. God. Need ice packs and cooling blankets. Got saline in there? She's not flush. She's not sweating. You must be. She has a temperature of 105. And that's gonna make me feel pain? I didn't feel anything when you guys screwed this thing into my head. I'm gonna replace missing chemicals in your nerves. Heightened sensitivity. I'm gonna be drilling directly into your skull. The response should indicate sarcoma. What does it feel like? It hurts. Um, I'm sorry. Bone pain is the worst there is. So you need to let me know as soon as you feel anything. She's ready. So what? I just sit here while you guys drill a hole in me? You want to talk? Just you and your mom, huh? You two must be pretty close. We were, until I got arrested. Third time. Drugs. Fights. You've got an advantage. Not really. Never know when to stop. Are you piss a lot of people off, or are you just trying to piss off your mom? Those are pretty much the only two choices you have. Anna? You want us to stop? <clears throat> stop the drill. Stop the drill. Okay. What you feel? Where did you feel it? Hannah, I need to know how it hurt. Hannah! Get away from me! I'm not gonna hurt you. Yes, you are. You're jealous. I can do anything. Hannah, you're having a paranoid delusion. I don't believe you. You think she would? This is real. You want me to be in pain. You even said so. If we wanted to hurt you, we'd let you jump. Beast, my mother. Fine. We'll take you to her OR observation room. I don't believe you! Your mother is fine. I just spoke to a surgeon. I don't believe you! Anna, what do you want from us? What do you want us to do? I can't feel my legs. You're trying to pull the same stunt twice in 10 minutes. I'm not pretending. They, they don't hurt. They're just... There. Anything? We're not looking for pain. Anything at all? Pressure? Nothing. You have six broken bones, a fever, a concussion, erratic heart rhythms, and a complete lack of sensation below the waist. I feel fine. Is my mother out of surgery yet? Not yet. This is excellent. The paranoia seems to have dissipated, but her vitals keep getting worse. She could be dead in hours. But if you're gonna die a miserable, lingering death, Pain-free is the way to do it. Are we sure the fall didn't cause the paralysis? The paralysis caused the fall. Spine's clean. No vertebral fractures or spinal cord compression. You 
better. The nuttiness and paralysis mean there's definitely a neurological component. Could be a nerve disease. Which is why we need to look at the nerve that you didn't biopsy. Uh, I, I shouldn't have gone out on the ice. Uh, I shouldn't have fallen down. <laughs> and I shouldn't have made you rush me to an ER for the tenth time this year. Mom? Well, you okay? And I had to take her back to surgery. Hannah, your BP is way up. We need to get you some rest. My hands wet. You're crying. I can't cry. Oh, my head is killing me. What if we add guilt? Guilt as a symptom? Alzheimer's can cause euphoria, pain causes depression, and B12 deficiency causes guilt, along with all that other stuff. If she felt guilty, she wouldn't be making her mother's life miserable. She wouldn't be getting in fights, getting arrested. Maybe she's fighting because she feels guilty. She's showing her mom she can take stupid risks and still be safe, means mom can let go. Which is rational. If guilt is a symptom, it's caused by the illness, not by a thought process. And it would have to be new. A couple years ago, she was a model student. This is pointless. If the headache was caused by guilt, she has a B12 deficiency. If it's just because she was sad, it's meaningless. How the hell do we test for that? We don't. Give her a shot of B12, and she gets better. I was right. We already did. The ER gave her B12 when she was admitted. Part of a multivitamin supplement. Apparently, she's just sad. Is it possible for you to just watch me eat? Or, or do you get some primeval thrill out of beating the other hunters to the food? See you later. You still haven't figured out that I don't need sedation? So you don't move during the procedure. Is that nitrous? What, are you trying to kill her? I gave her nitrous during the EEG. That's what made this thing rear its ugly head. What thing? B12 deficiency. Are you having deja vu? We've had this conversation. She was given B12. She didn't get better. Because someone else ate it. Get an abdominal MRI. What? What are you doing? Don't touch me! You see? Don't touch me! There she goes. Don't touch me! What a paranoid delusion. Oh, Richie's going downhill. No. Forget the MRI. We need an OR. Leave me alone! Occupy. Her hernia can wait. Help! They're trying to kill me! Okay, you can either believe that we really are trying to kill her, or you can assume she's suffering from a medical condition. Seeing this is a hospital and we're all dressed like doctors and there are easier ways to kill somebody. Bev, help them. I'm gonna need iodine, scalpel numbers 10 and 15, forceps, and a larger salad bowl. Uh. Okay, hold her down. Come on, weenie, she's in a cast. Swap. 15. You're not going to anesthetize her? Relax. It's just a magic trick. <laughs> She's faking it. We're not falling for it this time. Okay, keep that retracted. Forceps. Lake fishing can be fun. It can bring the generations together. If you don't cook that trout or perch well, you'll be giving room and board to this fella. By free board, I mean I'll be 12 you could take in. I could have a tapeworm in me? Not likely. You'd be in a lot of pain. It's gotta be 25 feet long. World record's over 60. 